Hello, my name is Jayesh. Welcome to the session that discusses the correcting cross-installed meters capability, which is available in the 22B release for Oracle Utilities Customer Cloud Service. In this session, we will talk about this new feature and how it can impact your business. We will give you an overview of the new capability, followed by more detail to explain how you would use it and the benefits to your business. Then we will walk you through a demonstration. Finally, we will explain what you need to consider when implementing this feature in your business, walk through a setup demonstration and provide you with some additional resources to reference. Cross-installed meters typically occurs in apartment buildings where meters are located in close proximity to each other. What happens is that the physical meter installation details are not correctly reflected in the billing system. Now, this diagram illustrates cross-installed meter installation from a billing system's perspective. Meter M1 is linked to Unit A, but is physically installed on-site for Unit B. And meter M2 is linked to Unit B, but is physically installed on-site for Unit A. As a result, Unit A is being incorrectly billed for usage occurring at Unit B, and Unit B is being incorrectly billed for usage occurring at Unit A. Now, in order to correct a cross-installed meter situation in the billing system, the meter installation details will need to be updated to correctly reflect the meter installations in the field. Billing corrections may also need to take place for previously billed charges for the customers involved. Now, as you can imagine, the steps required to correct cross-installed meters can be complex, involve quite a lot of manual work and be time-consuming for a utilities business users. This can easily lead to data entry and online transactional errors, making it even more challenging to resolve correctly in an efficient manner. In this release, we have introduced the correcting cross-installed meters capability. This helps business users correct cross-installed meters efficiently in a consistent manner by guiding them through the common steps and actions via a process flow. Data entry and online transaction errors are minimized as many steps involved in correcting across installed meters are now automated. As a result, manual work for a business user is reduced. Now, as mentioned earlier, the correcting cross installed meters capability helps the utilities business users correct cross installed meters efficiently in a consistent manner by guiding them through the common steps and actions via process flow. Here are some of the major highlights of the new capability. There is a visual representation at the top of the process flow screen so a business user can easily see how far along they are in a process flow. At the end of a process flow, a final summary displays key information related to correcting a cross-installed meter situation. It enables inline meter searching. This allows a business user to locate the meters involved in a cross-installed meter situation in the solution. It displays informational insights highlighting key information related to the meters involved. If required, a user can initiate field work to be undertaken to confirm cross-installed meters. The meter installation details for each meter can be automatically updated to correctly reflect the service points they are physically installed at. Once the meter installation details have been updated, if required, billing corrections can be initiated to correct previously billed charges for each customer involved. This involves cancelling and rebilling historical bill segments and or creating adjustments. Finally, customer contacts can be automatically created if configured to do so to initiate the sending of letters to each customer involved to advise them of the outcome of correcting cross-installed meters. Now, let's take a look at this feature so you can see how the correcting cross-installed meters capability can be used by your business. This simulated demonstration is for two customers in an apartment building who had their respective meters incorrectly set up in Oracle Utilities Customer Cloud Service. As a result, each customer has received a number of bills over subsequent months that contain charges based on usage from incorrect meters. Now, the correcting cross-installed meters capability consists of a few key objects. As mentioned earlier, a cross-installed meter process flow guides a business user step-by-step -step to correct a cross-installed meters installation. This process flow is based on an application-owned process flow type. In addition to these, there is also a request type. This request type contains the various business controls or configuration options for correcting cross-installed meters. 
The request type also defines the request record that holds the key information for correcting a specific cross install meters installation. Now, to initiate a process flow, you can go through the device installation menu item under the main menu. This references an action method that creates a process flow based on the application owned process flow type and associates it with the request type for correcting cross installed meters. The process flow consists of three main panels, these being swap meters, correct bill segments, and summary. The first panel, as the name suggests, is used to swap meters. Here a business user searches for the meters involved in a cross-installed meter situation and then the system automatically updates the respective meter installation details. So, they enter the relevant search criteria for the first meter. Once the correct meter record is selected, they can then search for the second meter. Now, when each meter is selected, information related to each meter is displayed on the panel. This includes information related to the service point, device and device configuration. A business user can also initiate the creation of a field activity, if required, for one or both meters by clicking the respective investigate button. These could be to investigate the status of a meter, such as confirming which meter is physically installed at the service point. Now, after selecting the second meter, the Insights section displays additional information about the meters and associated service points. Once they are happy, they can click the Swap Meters button. This deletes the incorrect install event for each meter and then creates new install events with the correct details. Once this has been completed successfully, an Insight is displayed indicating success. However, if there was an error, then an appropriate error message will be displayed on the panel. Now, the next step in the process is to optionally correct previously billed charges. After clicking the next button, the business user is navigated to the correct bill segments panel of the process flow. As part of this, off-cycle bill generators are created behind the scenes for each of the related account service agreements that have previously billed charges. Here, you can see that the panel initially displays a summary of impacted bill segments for each off-cycle bill generator to be corrected. Now, to the right of each summary information, we have the View Bill Segments link. By clicking this, additional bill segment information is displayed for the respective off-cycle bill generator. This includes the original amount, re-bill amount and net difference for each impacted bill segment. A business user has three choices they can make for each off-cycle bill generator. They can cancel and re-bill historical bill segments. They can create an adjustment for the overall net difference. or they can skip doing a billing correction. In this example, we will be cancelling and rebilling historical bill segments for each off-cycle bill generator. When all the off-cycle bill generators have had their billing corrections completed, and or skip, the business user can then navigate to the final panel, which is the summary panel. This panel displays the updated meter and service point information for each meter and service point, including new install events. Also displayed are corrected bill segments for each meter and service point, along with any customer contacts created to send a letter to the impacted customers. OK, this concludes the simulated demonstration for correcting cross-installed meters for two customers in an apartment building. Now, in this implementation advice section, we will go through what you need to consider to enable the correcting cross-installed meters capability in your business. There are two main tasks that you should complete to enable the new capability. First, you must configure a request type for correcting cross-installed meters. This contains the business controls or configuration options that process flows based on the application owned process flow type used for correcting cross installed meters. You may also need to pre-configure some additional administration entities for use on the request type depending on your implementation specific requirements. You must also configure an action method for correcting cross installed meters. 
This simulated demonstration will go through what you need to configure to enable the correcting cross installed meters capability. First, the request type. The first portion that needs to be configured relates to correcting cross installed meters installation details. In particular, the service script to swap the meters, the insight type to surface insights or key information about the meters and service points, and the field task type to use to create a field activity or field activities to confirm the meter installation details on site. For each of these, you can use the application owned administration records that have been provided if they meet your implementation's specific requirements. If not, you can configure your own specific records and plug them in. In addition to this, you can specify where the customer contact should be created to initiate letters to notify the impacted customers. The second portion that needs to be defined relates to billing corrections. In particular, whether or not you want to allow adjustments for correcting bill segments. If you do, then you need to define the appropriate adjustment type to be defined. And whether or not you want to allow business users to be able to cancel and rebuild historical bill segments. If you do, then you need to define additional configuration options related to cancelling and rebuilding. This includes whether you want to allow estimated usage to be used to correct historical bill segments and the billing option and cancel reason to use. The second main configuration task is configuring the action method for cross installed meters. This defines the type of process flow and corresponding request record to initiate. Now, for additional information about the new correcting cross-installed meters capability, please see the Oracle Utilities Customer Cloud Service Library on Oracle Help Center, which is available at docs.oracle.com. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.